comments. For the family, it's not enough. Kim Potter murdered my son, and he died April 11th. Today, the justice system murdered him all over again. I feel cheated. I feel hurt. I'm, I'm very upset that my son's life was taken. A judge moved to tears. Officer Potter made a mistake that ended tragically. She never intended to hurt anyone. Sentencing former Brooklyn Center police officer Kim Potter to two years in prison for firing the fatal shot that took Duante Wright's life in April 2021. The young father was only 20 years old. It happened during a traffic stop. Potter killed Wright after she and another officer pulled him over for having an expired license plate and an air freshener hanging from his rear view mirror. Officers learned he had an outstanding warrant and said he pulled away when they tried to arrest him. Potter said she planned to use her taser, but instead used her gun. Wright took a bullet to the chest. This is one of the saddest cases I've had <clears throat> on my 20 years on the bench. Potter was convicted in December of first degree and second degree manslaughter. Under Minnesota state statute, Potter would be sentenced only for the most serious offense. Maximum count for first degree manslaughter, 15 years. But sentencing guidelines called for less. About seven years, give or take, was expected. Officer Kimberly Potter was trying to do the right thing. Of all the jobs in public service, Police officers have the most difficult one. Potter got only 16 months behind bars and the rest of the two years of her sentence under supervised release. To those who disagree and feel a longer prison sentence is appropriate, as difficult as it may be, please try to empathize with Ms. Potter's situation. The family clearly feeling defeated. We're very disappointed in the outcome. It was like um, they were so tied up into her feelings and what her, what's going on with her that they forgot about my son being killed. This case now serves as another example of a black man dying at the hands of law enforcement during this nation's racial reckoning. And I am sorry I broke your heart. I'm Stephanie Bertini for BNC.